Hey guys, Josh here, and today we're gonna be taking a first look at Hope's Farm. I saw this game on the Nintendo eShop. The regular price is $19.99, however, it's pretty much always on sale for either $1.99 US dollars or $0.89 cents Canadian. And it is a port of a mobile game. I just saw a few screenshots, and let's just say that my hopes are not too high for this game. But it was just 89 cents, so I thought might as well try it. And maybe after watching this video, you can decide if this game is for you or not. Who knows? It might be a nice surprise. And so the first thing I'm noticing is that you actually control a cursor, which is a little bit unusual for a console game to have like a cursor like this, just like a PC game or something. But let's check the options. Let's see what kind of settings we have. Music. You know what? I think. I think I'm gonna turn this off because it's already bugging me quite a bit. Then there's three game modes. There's challenge, timed, and relaxed. And two difficulties. I'm not sure what are the differences between all of these things, but we're gonna go with challenge, casual, and yeah, let's give this game a go. Hope's Farm. So let me know guys if you've played this game. This is Hope. Oh, there's voice She's acting. A student of agronomy and lives in the big city. After a long drought, all right, Sam that's enough story. Let's just get into the game. Hello there, I'm Hope, and this is my grandpa Sam. It's great to have you here with us. Hey, friend, it's been tough lately, but I'm sure with your help, we can get the farm up and running again. Okay, let's get to work. Our first goal is now available. Let's check it out. <laughs> so, right away, it definitely feels like a mobile game, you can tell. So let's check our quest. I need to water two tomato fields, harvest two tomato crops, and complete the first order. So let's do that. Our crops need water to grow. Let's water the tomato fields. So you just tap on the tomatoes to water them. You need to drag, oh my gosh, you need to drag the bucket like this. Amazing, our first tomatoes are ready. Let's harvest them. And then you can tap. I'm not sure if there is a touch control and I can't test it right now. However, after recording this video, I will do some testing and I will put it on the screen to let you know if you can play with touch controls or not. Because I'm assuming this game is gonna play a lot better with touch controls if that is an option. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, let's keep going. So we need to harvest like this. And that goes in our storage. Hey, look, our first order is available. Tap here to check it out. So let's check it out. Luckily, we have some items left in the barn from my grandpa's last harvest. We have all the items to start this order. Tap on play to accept this order. So let's accept the order. And oh, I think we're gonna get... Oh, okay, so that's kind of a little mini game. These are our customers. Complete each customer's order to finish the level. So I think it's kind of like a little BJ World kind of mini game or Candy Crush. Sell items by matching them. You can create matches of three or more items of the same type by swapping adjacent tokens. So uh, would you like to skip the trial? You know what? I think we're going to be fine. But yeah, that's definitely going to play better with touch controls. But yeah, I was not expecting a puzzle game, but I guess... It's kind of part farming game, part puzzle game. So that is kind of interesting. Uh, that's definitely not something we see very often. So I guess that's nice. I got to give them points for the originality. Just for doing something new. Uh, breaking boundaries and all of that stuff. So I guess that is good. And actually this plays surprisingly well. Even with a controller, actually it's not too, too bad. Um, could be worse, it definitely could be worse. So now I've got nine moves left and I need to get five garlics and 20 eggplants. All right, so I've got four moves left and I need to get just one more eggplant. So I'm gonna do this and I got it. So that was not too bad. It took me three minutes, three seconds, 28 moves. And I got a little bit of gold, no bonus gold. So I guess I could have done better, but it's actually not too bad. And all right, so that is done. Level up, oh my gosh, the music. 
I got some diamonds and I unlocked the cornfield, orange tree and Mr. Scarecrow. So wonderful, some new items are available in the store. Let's buy a cornfield. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna place that right here. It's actually hard if you wanna be precise with your movements. So if I take a look at my quest right now, I need two cornfields and two orange trees. So I've got my two cornfields. However, I don't think I have enough money for orange trees right now because they cost 100 each and I just have 50 coins. Um, so that's not gonna happen. We're gonna have to fulfill some orders first. So let's check out order number two. So to start this order, I need 40 bananas, 35 garlic and 35 tomatoes. So I think I'm gonna plant some more tomatoes like this. Oh, we can water everything at once. Okay, so that's not too bad actually. And then you just gotta wait a few seconds and then you can harvest. So you can harvest everything at once as well. So now I think we should be able to do the order. So let's do that. And as you can see, every order is gonna look slightly different. So here we've got a completely different layout from before. And I've got this little shovel here that will allow me to destroy obstacles. Yes, exactly like this. So I'm gonna, oh, I think if I wanna use a shovel again, I would need some diamonds. And currently the 32 diamonds pack is 10% off. So let's see how much that costs. Uh, now I need the lightning power up destroys, oh no. Oh, I need more. No, okay, wait. No, I'm confused. I want to see how much it costs to buy diamonds. I'm not too sure how to buy diamonds. Uh, like, even if I wanted to buy them, I'm not too sure how it works. Um, so I guess I'm going to try that later. But first, I'm just going to complete that order. So I need tomatoes, bananas, and garlics. All right, I did it. And I actually went pretty well. Let's see if I get any bonus gold this time. No, still no bonus, but it took me just 1 minute 26 and 20 moves. And now I have enough money to buy orange trees, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put my trees maybe on this side of the farm. And next, I need to decorate the farm with Mr. Scarecrow. So let's see if I have enough money for the Scarecrow. Oh, I'm missing 5 coins, so I'm going to do another order. And I need more tomatoes, so let's plant some more tomatoes. So, I will say so far, actually, I am pleasantly surprised. This little puzzle game is actually a lot more fun than I thought. I think I'm definitely getting my dollars worth of enjoyment right now. I don't think this would be worth $20 for sure, but for a dollar, I think it's definitely a pretty cute, like, enjoyable little game. I uh, just don't expect any kind of farming sim masterpiece. It's, I guess it's kind of really a mix between games like Farmville and like Beach World or Candy Crush. So now I'm gonna place the Scarecrow and I'm gonna move it around because that was one of my quests to move it around. And so day two is done. I can claim my rewards. So I can't see any quests for day three right now. I'm not too sure if I need to trigger something. So I'm just gonna keep playing and I'll check in with you guys when I've made a little bit more progress. All right, so I made a little bit more progress and now I've just unlocked the chicken coop. So I just bought a little chicken coop and now I'm gonna buy a chicken. I'm gonna put it in there. And next you need to feed the chickens. So just like this, you give them the little food then you gotta wait for the eggs to be ready. And while we wait for that, I'm gonna water all of my other crops. And one thing I'm noticing right now is that my water is going down. I've got 15 water left out of 40. So I'm looking forward to seeing what will happen once I run out of water. So I guess we'll find that out soon. And now the eggs are ready, so you just grab the basket and you go over the chicken. Got my eggs. I'm gonna harvest all of this. And I should be able to do the next 
order. So let me see if there's, yeah, this order requires some eggs, but I need three eggs. So what we'll have to do is feed the chicken one more time and I'm gonna water my crops again. In the meantime, pick up my second egg and feed my chicken a third time. So this is <laughs> where it gets kind of a little bit repetitive. And now my third egg is ready. So just pick that up and I will harvest everything. And now I'm ready to do this order. I want to try this one with the eggs. So this one's a little bit different. So I need 45 corn, 42 oranges, but I just need three eggs. So I don't know if I need to get all the three eggs to touch each other. I think I do. So that's where things, I think, will get a little bit more challenging. I'm not too sure how I will achieve that, but I will try my best. So I've got 12 moves left. And the only thing I'm missing right now are the three eggs. Um, so it's suggesting me to move this one here like this. I'm gonna do that, but oh, maybe I just need to bring them to the bottom actually. That might be what I have to do. Um, let's try that. So I'm gonna try to blow things up with these bombs. Oh yes. Yes, that is what you have to do. So they don't have to touch each other. They just need to go to the bottom of everything. So it's actually not too bad, not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. So I have zero move left. I had just one egg to do, but I failed. So you can buy five extra moves or restart the level. So I will restart, but at least now that I know what I have to do, I think this will be a lot easier. And I did it with 11 moves left. So that was not too bad. Let's see if I get any bonus gold. Yeah, I got 20 bonus gold and I just ran out of water, but don't worry, you can collect more by tapping on the well. So just tap on the well and then, oh, so I think there is a mini game for water. So I thought I was going to be forced into some sort of micro transaction, but actually when you run out of water, you just got to do this one. Oh, and I just figured out what I need to do exactly. So. There's a water here in the top left and there's a well here. So I need to clear the way between the water and the well. So I'm going to try to do that. And I did it. So it was actually not to. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Did I do it? I think I No. Yes, I did. <laughs> it was not very clear, but I did it. So my water is filled. I'm back 40 on 40. So that's actually pretty good. Let's harvest everything. And oh, now the storage is full. So we're starting to have a little issues, but I think we can probably, well, we can either do quests that will use the stuff that is in our storage, or you can actually upgrade but the upgrade requires a farm level five. So I'm just gonna keep doing orders for now. All right, so I've been playing the game for a few hours already and I'm now level five, so I can upgrade my farm. And so that's good. I'm finally gonna have a little bit more storage. So before I wrap up this video, I'll just give you my thoughts on this game so far. First, it turns out that there are no microtransactions. You just buy the game once and that's it. However, as you can see, they have done very little to port the game from mobile to Switch, and you can clearly tell it is a mobile game in every aspect. So the game plays a bit awkwardly with a controller. The farming is not very intuitive, like the way you have to drag and drop everything with the cursor is just not very fun. And in a true mobile game fashion, you do have to wait in real time for your crops to grow or your chickens to lay eggs. And even though it doesn't take too long, it's still a bit annoying. There are also the different currencies, so even though there are no microtransactions, you still have both coins and diamonds, which I think they should have combined. There's also the bucket of water that has to be refilled, and even though the minigame to refill it is fun, it feels unnecessary, and you can tell this is clearly a remnant of the mobile version of the game, where you probably had to pay to refill the bucket. Decorating your farm is also not the most interesting, especially since the quantity of fields or decorative items you can place are all locked behind your farm level, which makes the game feel pretty restrictive. 
But I have to be honest though, I quite enjoyed the puzzle minigame. The farming I had to do every time to fulfill the orders felt a bit tedious and unnecessary, but the puzzle minigame was fun. It's definitely not $20 worth of fun, so I would not recommend getting this game full price. But considering that I've been playing for about 2 hours now, and I did enjoy it, I think 1 or 2 dollars is not too bad. And if you want a very simple game to just play from time to time, if you have a few minutes to kill, it could be worth it. However, I don't think I will go back to it too much. And also, most importantly, you could also just get like Candy Crush or Bija World or any other game like that on your mobile phone. Or if you do some research, I'm sure there are similar puzzle games on the Switch that might be of higher quality than this one. But I would say it's definitely more a puzzle game than a farming game. And it is cheap but it also feels cheap and it's not very pleasing to look at. It truly feels like a mobile game that was very quickly ported to Switch. They just took out the microtransaction but kept everything else. And yeah, even though the puzzle minigame is fun, it kind of feels lazy. So yeah, these are my thoughts on Hope's Farm. So it's honestly not as bad as I thought. I did enjoy my time with this game, but don't expect anything special it is what it is for a two dollar game i think it's not too bad but let me know what you guys think have you played hope's farm have you played it on mobile or have you played it on switch and are there any other cheap farming games that you would like me to try if so please let me know in the comments and i will make sure to check those games out and that's gonna be pretty much it for me guys leave a like and subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you all in the next video